Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and we're playing some more Supreme Ruler Ultimate, the Ottoman Empire uh, campaign, and I've been kind of thinking about that campaign name. Um, it might be turned over to Ottoman Rising or something like that, I don't know, I just kind of... Or Ottoman Resurgence, I don't know, I, I just... You know, it, it's just, a, it's working uh, progress, so... Right now, we are focused here in episode number four on going after Armenia and Azerbaijan. We need to, after Georgia decided that, or after Russia decided that Georgia was going to be their next target, I am definitely needing to move on, move as quickly as possible, take these out, and then, uh, hope the God that, uh, things work in our favor. Uh, no thank you. Uh, yes thank you. Two good little things for us. Uh, we are in the far reaches of our spear here. Be great to take these just so I can have some land fabrication facilities over here. Let's uh, get ready to deploy into a war here. Oh, they're running out of supply on the far edge over here. Declare the war. Let's go with the war. Push across. We can hurry up and knock out this garrison. What was that for? War declared. Turkey has declared war on Armenia, and Th Thailand has declared war on Myanmar. Um, I support that war, honestly. It seems like their Thailand would be a good person to keep happy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's let these guys respond to these attacks. A good idea is to actually let them push back on us, because once they do that, they pretty much will separate themselves from their supply. So if I take this guy right here, put him here, I can move him just across here and cut them off. Alright. There he goes this way. We're, oh, they were. I guess he was expecting me to do something like that. Now I'm in trouble of that happening to me. Okay. Let's see. Our units from all the way across over there are moving into the attack, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. I'll go ahead and get uh, Azerbaijan uh, tuned up. And this will be the last war I kind of declare for just a little while. Look at all these guys rush, rushing to stop these attacks. Motorized engineers, T-72s. Come on, let's get in here and make sure we keep that supply running in. Funny thing is, they can't replace their units all that quickly once they do lose them. Let's get this guy down here, take that town back. Up oh, here he is getting stuck behind enemy lines, or my lines, I should say. I am not my own enemy. Okay, those guys are being forced to think about how they want to do that. Let's we'll push on through here. We'll take a uh, Jumri from them. Garrison, one more garrison to go, and now we'll just push through their artillery like butter. we go a knife through hot butter or a hot knife through butter I don't know what I'm t trying to say people there we go push it in come right on across it's fine I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these just so I can get that running uh, war declared Russia has declared war on South Korea obviously we don't like that. It won't be long. I have pretty pretty much pissed off Russia and all that. Diplomatic, okay. We need reinforcements. Go rush across, do that. I have a Did I see that right? We had a partisan unit form? Yeah, we did. We took their capital. We gotta be careful with that. 
Partisan unit, it, that is now part of the loyalty overlay. If you remember in the Supreme Lord 2020 game, the loyalty didn't ever seem to account to anything. Well, now in the, this game, it actually means something. Uh, we are going to annex the country. We're going to push through. We've got Azerbaijan soil to take. Send these guys down here. We'll let them handle this on their own. They seem like they should be competent enough. They seem that way, at least. Okay. Let's go push down here. Going past the engineer. Want to take that garrison. Uh, what is this? This is Iraq offering a not a good deal. Lost a few units, but not too bad. Okay, this is their Ford Barracks here. Here we go, retaking that land around there. Let's go ahead and get a bridge crossing down here. Supply just isn't going very quickly. It'll fix that. Move on this way. I think we'll be all right. Come on, let's take Ganka. Let's go for it. They put all their units into this fight, and they pretty much have already wasted it all. There we go, and push in, take it, and let's keep going. We need reinforcements. Artillery being knocked out, stuff like that. What's this down here? The SA-4 Ganef. There we go. This side is now ours. Let's uh, pop up over here. We are outrunning our ability to resupply. It's not good. We need a. We definitely need supply to stay ca uh, caught up with us over here. Come on, guys, work this out. A quick attack on Yevlax. There it goes. All right, that looks good. These guys are going to cross here and make another spot for supply. There's that village going down. Got it. Just keep moving. We'll let these guys attack anything that gets in the way. All right, they're on this side of the river on the bottom here. Uh, if only we could push a little bit further, we could knock these guys out. Okay. I think these guys are having a fun time knocking out the garrisons and any units in it. There goes this town. It is... I get Zadly. There it goes, Garrison. Alright, let's go ahead and push towards the center crossroad area. Alright, our supply is starting to catch up here. It hasn't gotten across these bridges yet. Except for down here. I need to send these guys right on across. Except these guys, I want them to go in here. Alright. Uh oh, what is that? Russia declared war on Poland. That's not good. They're getting really... They're getting really bold now. Okay. Uh, oh, they're pushing on this, these units here. Let's see if we can get this airfield taken for ourselves. Let's we'll see if we can get these guys to push through here as well. All right. I 
think I'm liking what I'm seeing. Go there. We'll have this little group take out. Go here. Have this leopard cut the road. There we go. Make it a little bit easier on us. Alright. Send these guys all the way to the back of Baku. Just like this. They will now focus on destroying all the garrisons in their paths. Kind of surprised that the military base here has taken so long to knock out. Lock Baton. Okay. Push through. I think our artillery is actually in here somewhere. I have a feeling like artillery is bombarding this back here. Oh no, we actually have an RN that's somehow snuck around the side. Okay, we're just hitting the garrison on the capital right now. Let's take all of these to get them something to do. Overrunning the military barracks seems like a good idea. Having supply problems down here. There's nowhere for me to grab some spots. There's Baku starting to fall. We only have three garrisons left. Two, one. Took their, took capital. their capital. We're going to go after Mastaga. Get some Gaiat as well. There's that knocked out. We took their capital. And we'll just send a force down this way just to make sure if this is the next one at Salyan, we've got it knocked. Yep, we're going to annex. We're going to say repair to all. Same time, I'm going to drop our preparedness because we don't really need it at this point. Let's see. Counter intel spy was found. Diplomatic offer, it's not that great. Yeah, we don't need to worry about any of that. Unit design's getting done. War declared. Russia on Finland. Eventually, they're all going to get mad and go start attacking him. I just don't know when that will be. Alright, we'll let these guys do their thing. We'll come back in here. Let's see. Uh, how can we fix up the economy the way we want to? There's no micro, there's four medium, we'll get rid of them. For industrial goods, we are in the same boat, I'm sure. For military goods, we are... Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's check out for power. No other smalls, there's two... There, I'm gonna go one here. Here, one there. Let's see. Coal small, there's none. Patrol small, there is none. Okay. Good deal. Let's see. Am I seeing any nuclear? I thought I saw, remember, a nuclear over here that was really small. To keep an eye on that. All right. We're just going to kind of leave it as is for now. We're going to let our economy catch up. We're going to let our territorial incursion air force by Russia. Uh, we'll ignore it. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, you can fly over enemy territory if you wanted to. Uh, personally, I don't really want to. Did they just... Oh, it was partisan units from Georgia. There you see he's flying over our, our territory again. The weird thing is, if we fly over there and he attacks us, then we're more likely for him to declare war. But if he flies over on us and then we decide to attack him back, he'll declare war on us too. I'm like, that makes zero sense. The US has an intelligence in Rustavi. <laughs> they want to know what's going on down here, I guess. Go ahead and send all these guys to repair. Oh, there's a barracks down here. Ah, never mind, okay. 
That's fine. Well, we've stopped Russia. They're not going to go any further south than that line, at least here, unless they attack us. Um, I think eventually we will end up having, like, if we want Crimea and stuff like that, we're going to have to attack them. But, I mean, even then, the furthest our border will go is, like, here, if we want to get the old Ottoman Empire back. I'm not too worried about that. Again, I mean, there's nothing, you know, I'm not going to go to war with Russia just to get this piece when I have to worry with all that. That's just not my cup of tea. Looks like Poland pushed in and took uh, Kaliningrad back. Well, for themselves, I don't think they've ever really had it. Let's see here. Once I get Romania knocked out, I'm going uh, to make the Turkish Straits mine. That way we s bottle up all of Russia's units out here. And all these guys over here have nowhere to go. Just little ways I can piss off Russia. Something I do need to do is increase my spending in law enforcement for a better rating. Um, yeah, once I get everything kind of handled, we'll need to be doing that kind of stuff. Some kind of problem with this. What's the problem? I don't see it. Oh, we're stockpiling military goods. Let's see. There's a small problem with electric power. Well, the problem with uranium is we're not making it. And not yet. We have. We still have these guys over here to fix up and get done. Let's see. Looks like they are 29 days away. Unit design done. War declared on Latvia. Good God, I'm. I know good and well Russia is gonna get really tired of my crap and just come at me. Can't help it though. Be really cool to kind of get some of these nations on our side though, so when they are attacked, it might tick off some other folks. Uh, the U.S. doesn't like us. That's not good. We'll have to fix that. About the same time we fix our economy, I'm sure. Yeah, 173. How is our how is our money being spent? Let's see, where is my? That's our income report. Where's my expense report? There it is. Spending a lot in our treasury for interest, of course. Construction's at 146 million. Yeah. Let's see, research projects. I wonder what our, what's our uh, tax? There's our taxation. Low income's at 100, is at 36.2. Everybody's at 36.2, I think. Oh, except for unemployment, property tax, and pension tax. I mean, that's fine for right now, as long as the money's going up overall. Territorial incursions, that's fine, as long as they're not attacking. Okay, uh, units sitting around down there, doing nothing. Let's see, who is that? Serbia? I think that's Serbian spies there. And it's just going to take a while to get some of these units done. How? What are we losing money in? According to this, rubber. Which is a very big commodity now. Um, petroleum's still fine. Coal we're doing fine on, iron ore, uranium we're losing some money in, but not a lot, honestly. Electric power we're losing some money in. Um, I don't even think we could... Our capacity's at 207, so we need to start trying to fix that. I might go ahead and look for technology. 
Not, I don't want nuclear weapons research. I want nuclear power. That's science? No. Society? No. Let's look into nuclear weapons research. Nuclear fission. Research reactors. Nuclear reactor design. Commercial nuclear power. That's the one I want added. Okay. Now once it's time, our people will... Once they get done with all these current things that they have on their plates. Like missile designs and ship designs. And air to plane designs. They'll hit that one and then we could start building some nuclear power facilities throughout. Be kind of nice to have that. But alright guys, well so far we've done a pretty good job. I We have taken Bulgaria. They are our first central European nation to go after. We've also taken Armenia and Azerbaijan in response to the uh, Russian threat on the border here when they took Georgia. So that should stop the Russians without having, you know, unless they decide they want to attack me instead. Let's hope that doesn't happen because I can't hold them for very long. We did just have a bunch of hydropower get done. Don't know if that really went up or not. Um, we have a very high usage. Consumer goods were below on, industrial goods were below on, and military goods were doing just fine on, which we can make some money in military goods. But, uh, all right, guys, I think I'm going to end this one right here. I appreciate you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.